Yes, bro. That was my first time ever doing that. talking to me i don't know you it's been months like <laughs> bye girl oh my god i don't even know what to freaking say i've been gone for so long like i feel so extra saying that but it's true like i just don't know what to do i don't know what to say i don't know how to look like it's just been so long i have for you guys a mukbang a mukbang mukbang i don't know how to say it i'm pretty sure nobody knows how to say it so we're just gonna call it mukbang okay okay i thought it would be the perfect video to come back with because one of the things while i was gone that i was thinking about was changing up my content and i thought what better way to do it than to actually come back with a video that's a little different than what i actually do which is like makeup tutorials and all that stuff so i thought this would be the perfect video because mukbangs are where you just sit down and you enjoy your little meal and you just talk to the camera so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna eat my food and i'm gonna just basically catch up with you guys and explain why i've been gone for so long and some updates on my life and all of the above so today since this was such of like a like a what do you call that like such of a the <laughs> I still can't talk. That's one thing that has not changed. I still can't talk. But anyway, um, what was I about to say? What I'm eating today is some um, honey barbecue. Yeah, honey barbecue little anytizers by Tyson. Slap. Okay, these slap. Like, literally, if you don't feel like going to BW3s and Wingstop and all them other wing places, go to Target or go to the grocery store and get you some anytizers. Like, these things slap. So, I got me some honey barbecue bites and I got me also some honey barbecue Fritos because if you know me, I got these every single day. Like, these are my chips. And then, you know, I also got me on the side some grapes because, you know, I don't eat so great, as you can see. So, you know, I had to, you know add a little some healthy on the side some grapes then i also have my handy dandy water first of all let's start off by talking about um why i've been gone for the long basically i've been gone for so long because ever since that what i got for christmas video um for those of you who got to see it before i put it on private kudos to you you have my post notifications on but um I actually ended up putting that video on private because of the simple fact of I felt so fake like I knew in my head that I didn't really want to film in my head that I didn't really want to actually film that video I just did it because I felt like it's something that I post every single year since I've been doing YouTube so I have to post this video because I do it every year and they're waiting for this like they need this like they want this so bad so I knew in my head that I didn't really want to film the video but I did it because I know you guys would want to see it but also in some ways that sounds good like yeah I obviously I care a lot about what you guys want to see from me but at the same time since it's not something that I was actually happy about uploading I just I just wasn't myself in the video I feel like you guys deserve a lot more than when I put into some of these some of the videos that I was uploading and some of the videos that I did have ready to upload I feel like you guys deserved a lot more than that and a lot more of me being just being real with you guys like I don't want to have to put on a show or feel like I have to upload something because it's that time of the week or it's something that you guys really want but I know I'm not gonna be happy filming it because if I'm filming something I'm pretty sure you guys can tell if it's something that I actually like uh, just like with some youtubers 
when they do sponsorships, you can tell that sometimes some of them don't actually feel the way about the product that they're saying. But it's money, so hey, whatever. But I feel like it's just super important to be real with you guys. And I've always been that, but I feel like at that time period, it just wasn't me. So that's why I took a break. And I did have two times where I wanted to come back and I had the videos filmed and edited, but I felt like it just, I don't know, it just still was not there. Even though I felt like I was there, I wasn't there. And God told me, as you can see, that this is the day that I can come back. And this is the day where I feel like I can make my little comeback. Me personally, if I was to ever get a sponsorship for somebody, I wouldn't do it if I knew for a fact that it wasn't going to benefit you guys or if I don't like it. Because if I don't like it, then I'm not about to put it out there for my subscribers to, to like, like, no. no. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. And I'm going to say, high school, even though I was a freshman, and I still am taking good freshman for a freshman. Nah, nah, you know what? I am a sophomore because September's gonna be here before we know it. But high school was stressful. It was stressful for me. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't wanna I I don't wanna scare people who are going into high school. But it was just hella stressful for me. Like, just the amount that I know it's high school and they expect a lot of, of uh, a lot from you because you're going to be this is like the real deal like you have four years of this and then you're you're out of here like you're done you're an adult you're in the real world and so they expect a lot out of you but still like as sometimes it just gets to be too much and it's like if I feel like some teachers I feel like some teachers just don't communicate with each other so it's like you'll have tests in every class in one week and it's like do y'all even have communicate communicate communicating communicating skills at all like what's the deal what's up like do you guys need help like come on now i'm like i'm not about to have a test for every class every si like a, in, in one week like that's so stressful and it's like they don't care they want to preach on the first day when they get them little presentations about um, introducing themselves and stuff. I do not really care about you guys' education. This is not. Yet you don't communicate with us and see what homework we have in other classes to determine what what you're gonna give us. Like, no, that's that's. Oh, I almost said something, but I ain't gonna say it. High school is stressing me out, and life in general, you know. But I am thankful that I get to wake up every day. You know, life is short. Really short. Especially in the world we live in now, it's short. I also joined our varsity cheer team at school. So that's a perk. I'm very excited. I feel like our team is just gonna be super good like I can't I really can't wait and I'm a flyer too so I definitely I want to I want to get back on my game with vlogs I know I said I would never vlog again but I feel like that's easier than filming a ton of like regular videos even though I will be because I got a ton of new makeup and I'm so excited to film makeup tutorials with it all like I got a lot of new glitters and stuff like that and so I'm really excited to use those because you guys know I don't really go crazy with eyeshadow and stuff unless I'm doing a video because on regular days I just don't be feeling like I got time for that. Like something I really want to get going is my lash line. I want to do a lash line for sure and I've been working on finding like vendors and people who can create the box for me. So, yeah, that's super exciting, and I'm, I plan on having that done by next year because I also want to have a website done for me. You know, if I do one thing, I'm just going to get it all done. So, I want to have a website created for me 
for sure, for sure. And then I want to have my lashes. And I want to start off with like three. I will start. Eh. So I want to start off with three different styles, and then go from there. And then see how far I can get with those three, and then just start selling more and more. So I really plan on doing that. I plan on going super, super far, super further, like way further with my makeup business. I've been doing pretty well with that. Um, makeup is just seriously my passion. Like it's so crazy how I went from wanting to be a fashion designer, literally went to fashion boot camp and everything. Like that was my life. But fashion boot camp, I feel like that was just God's plan because literally, if I wouldn't have went to fashion boot camp, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be into makeup as much as I am now. Like it's always been something on the side that I just you know love to do. But fashion really was something that just I was spending my time all the time creating outfits for my dolls and stuff like that rather than sitting in my basement playing in makeup for hours, you know? You feel me? When I actually got into something that was going to benefit me becoming the fashion designer, it just bored me. Like, I just didn't want to do it anymore. And then that's when I started getting into makeup. And boom. That's when I started actually wanting to do other people's makeup and stuff like that like it it's just really crazy to me and i have this video on my channel it's the what's in my freelance makeup kit video and i think it's from like two years ago when i first started doing makeup and looking at that kit versus what i have now is just it's really crazy like, i can't wait to do one for you guys that should be coming pretty soon because i'm pretty happy with what my kit looks like at the moment so yeah, that should be coming to you guys very soon, but, yeah. I'm going to be 16 in nine months, you guys. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. Like, <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to be 16. I'm, well, I swear, when I get my car, baby, I'm going to be out of here. And I, literally, that's just what I've dreamed of. I haven't even dreamed of a little sweet 16 none of that i've always dreamed of having a car like i just i just cannot wait to be on the road and i take my driver's ed as soon as school starts back so i'll have my little permit or whatever but when i get that license and that car i'm gonna be out of here i'm telling you i'm gonna be out of here Anyway, your girl is back on her grind. It's summertime. I got some stuff planned for you guys. Like I said, I got a ton of new glitters. And I'm really excited to do different makeup tutorials. Because I've been missing filling makeup tutorials for you guys. Like, I really have. Those things are my life. And I've been missing you guys in general. Like, I like talking to you guys more than... <laughs> this may sound really sad. I like talking to the camera and my... YouTube community, even though some of the some of those people are people I talk to in real life that watch my videos. Heck out. But anyway, I can talk to you guys about anything. And there's 1,578 of you guys. Who well, half of you guys I don't even know. But we are family. I'm so grateful. That was one of the things I was kind of skeptical about. With taking a break was thinking I was gonna lose subscribers, but I didn't think about how loyal you guys are and about how that just was not gonna happen. If I ever do another one of these, I kind of want to do like incorporate questions or do a QA. I probably should have did that, but I kind of try to make it a little surprise, a little secret, secret, a little hush hush that I was gonna be filming today. So I didn't ask for questions, but when I do my next one of these, I'm gonna definitely ask for questions. But with that being said, I love you all so, so much, and it feels so great to be back. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!